Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome to your channel. Uh, today, it's so hot outside. It's like 95 degrees out here. So I'm going to stay in the shade. I don't want to have a heat stroke. So, with that being said, I've been putting this off for a while, so I need to get it done. This is that other little cage we was building over here in front of the chicken barn uh, to put the younger chickens in that we hatched out, the zombie chickens that we hatched out. So I need to finish the front of it and build a door for it. And uh, right here, I got some wood here to do all that with. And then I need to box the back of it in, put wire on the back. And then we're gonna go around and put the metal around the bottom like we've been doing everything else, just to try to keep it matching. So I'm gonna try to stay out of sun as much as I can because I'm getting older and I cannot handle that heat like I used to. It is hot up here on this mountain. And we have a, uh, like a thermometer thing hanging on the front porch in the shade now and it's reading 95 degrees on the front porch of the house in the shade. But anyway, let me get my stuff together and uh, I'll get it figured out. Maybe. Let me figure out how wide I want this door. I like to have it at least 36 inches. Open it, rough opening, that way I can kind of frame a door down to fit it. If I can get that post going around just three or four inches, that's, I'll be good with that. Hi. I don't know if you can hear that or not. We got to the rock. Six inches deep. So, we're going six inches deep. That wound up being 31 inches. Well, that's good enough. Give or take. Give or take. Get this dirt back in around it. Hopefully it won't move too much. Money. She's a little askew that way, but we make it work. It's perfect on this side and off on this side, just a hair, but maybe worth work. Anyway, I don't care. Man. We'll either build something or we'll make a god awful mess out of it. One or two. Go up to that. 37 and one half. We cut out the half. There's 37 and a half. Like a club. And by the way, this right here is a redneck tool pouch.
Bears did. It'll go. You just gotta act it, ask it nicely. My calculations are correct. That should be level. Oh, I'll be dipped. Doing this one a little different than the way I've done the greenhouse door. I'm gonna pitch it, I'm gonna like, frame this in like a picture frame type thing. Then we'll put another door up here for it, like a treat door.
these kind of gate latches on everything because I have to drill a hole through here and run a wire in there that you can pull and open it with from the inside if not you'll get locked in other than that I use them for everything everything up here you got them on right here's something else I always try to do I make these little chains you can buy them about like 50 foot rolls or whatever it's a big box store they get these little clamps here that screw shut I don't know what they're called clasp or whatever I don't know what they're called there. And I put these little clips on them. Like that. Then I just screw this side like this. Just directly into the wood somewhere, give or take around here. Of course, good and solid. That way I can make sure that I have a way to lock the door. Kind, well, kind of lock the door. Screw it down like that. Just leave it hanging. But when you get ready to go in for the night or whatever, clasp it. Because raccoon and stuff can open those things. There is. They're pretty smart raccoons. I mean, if they figure out how to do that, then they'll get in there. But if you put these on there, I'll probably take this back down when I put the metal up. But okay, now I'll Secured. It's hot and we need some more boards. I gotta have one more post to box in the back side back there. But this is way more than what we did have done. We've been needing to get this done for a long time. So now we're getting closer. We gotta get the metal. We got the door mounted, I got the door made. And this right here, I framed it in. I'm gonna put another door in it, like a treat door. Like we done right here on these doors right here. I'm show them these treat doors. I, I don't know if we've ever showed them or not on these. basically just open it from the top get another door and that way you can throw stuff in because chickens like if you go over to that door out right there you got about 25 30 chickens that's bum rushing the door but you can open this and throw something in to get them to distract them so you can get in and we was talking we may eventually make this into a quail cage we've been talking about getting some quail and stuff so this would be a perfect quail cage out here but anyway guys if you ain't done so yet please hit that like and subscribe button it won't cost you a thing It'll help our channel out a little bit, and uh, we will see you on the next one. Like and subscribe. There you go. Good job.